Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about a few resources that are out there. Uh, if you're relatively new to the world of Linux and you are delving into the sometimes fraught subject of hardware support, what hardware will work with your Linux computer, whether you're looking at buying a webcam or a scanner or uh, any other kind of hardware for that matter, you may be interested in knowing the important question of, well, is it going to work? One thing I will say, I've been using Ubuntu Linux uh, since 2008 and hardware support has gotten considerably better over that time period. It's now, there's now a much, much higher chance in, in my experience that devices are plug and play. Nevertheless, it always pays if you're thinking about buying something, whether it's a, you know, a, a Blu-ray burner or as I said, a scanner or especially a printer. It pays to do a little bit of research, just double checking if something's gonna work with Ubuntu. So I want to show you guys a few resources and make a few comments. First comment really is that you're gonna have a higher chance of support if you're using a more common form of Linux. So there's many, many Linux distros, of course. So if you're using something relatively common like Ubuntu, uh, the chances of you either being able to ask someone or find a resource for whether it'll work, they're gonna be higher. So there's a few different uh, URLs I wanted to pop open to uh, show you guys. So Ubuntu has made this attempt to um, have Ubuntu certified hardware, um, ensuring that Ubuntu runs well out of the box. So this is a nice program and they're trying to sell this to manufacturers in terms of um, this the certification program just to make life easier for us Ubuntu users. But you can see in the desktop space, they have 277 uh, desktops, a lot of them from Dell that have been certified uh, to work with um, Ubuntu. If I filter on HP, we can see there's a few more and they even certify them by release. So this is definitely a step forward. Uh, you can see this uh, HP MicroPower TC is a desktop system certified with Ubuntu 1804. So this is a uh, certification program being rolled out by Ubuntu. The categories up on the website currently are Ubuntu certified desktops, laptops, which is super useful. I've never looked for an Ubuntu certified laptop. I've also never had problems with Ubuntu, but I have had problems with Debian in any event. You can now get desktops and laptops pre-installed with Ubuntu. Um, I think this is definitely a really good idea. And you can see for the latest LTS 2004, there's 284 Ubuntu certified laptops at the time I'm recording this video, which is 6 of June, 2022. Ubuntu certified servers, Ubuntu certified IoT devices, Ubuntu certified uh, systems on a chip, SOCs, and uh, they're trying to sell this to vendors as well. So that's a nice program, and this is the this is um, another link here about their Ubuntu's um, Ubuntu's programs. You can see the current programs called Ubuntu Certified. They did have Ubuntu Friendly, uh, which was kind of a previous attempt at this. You can see it was wrapped up in 2013. Um, they have a wiki as well, and it's a bit more extensive than um, than the previous uh, page. They're not certified, but for example, if we pop into the webcams category here, we can find, let's say for instance, we want to filter on Logitech webcams and there is a wiki, it's not beautifully uh, organized. I'm not sure it's even 100% complete. It's very out of date. You can see we're going to Ubuntu 10 here, Ubuntu 6. So it doesn't look like this resource is very well maintained, unfortunately. Last edited 2012. So that wiki isn't super useful. Um, moving a little bit outside of the Ubunt official um, Ubuntu ecosystem here, um, there's a website called linuxhardware.org. Um, I'll put a link in the description and I also will just do my usual um, te technique of flashing it up here on the screen. So that's the URL, linux-hardware.org. This is a pretty useful, uh, this is obviously not run by Ubuntu uh, or anyone like that, but it's actually pretty, seems to do a better job at, um, at, at listing. So if we go into, you can look for parts here, vendor, find a computer, and uh, they even list uh, webcams. And sometimes you'll be searching for a computer and it'll show up. Next resource for you guys is to show that I wanted to highlight is the Linux hardware subreddit. 
Um, so it's our Linux hardware and there is 66,000 people on the sub. So it's not a tiny subreddit. Sometimes you just can't beat human intelligence. So asking people, hey, does this webcam work or does this motherboard work, etc. So you can ask, I'm not sure there's a flair for saying, does it work? So I try to periodically post here saying, uh, this works, etc. Um, but this is a good place if you have questions, you can pop over to Linux hardware and ask. We've already looked at that. The next way, I'm just going to take an example of the Logitech C930E camera, right? So then you've got Googling, which, um, you know, the good old Google method, type it into Google. And for instance, when I typed in Logitech C930E, we saw that it had an entry on hardware for Linux, which I showed uh, previously. Um, so it's listed there and it'll show you which kernel drivers you need and the uh, the status that on Ubuntu 2004 it was detected um, three different uh, probes and you can even go into the individual details so that to me that looks like it works I own the C920 but I wouldn't doubt that usually usually well-known popular webcams if you're using a pretty standard type of Linux, like, you know, Ubuntu, you can see all the distros here, Fedora, Majaro, Arch, usually Mint. Nowadays, it's getting good. We're not, not really um, running into problems so frequently, but uh, there is these databases. The second thing, let's go back to this Logitech C930 e webcam, right? So I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon or I use Amazon as a um, lookup tool to do my product research. So what you can do on Amazon is scroll down. Now you'll see, for instance, this webcam doesn't mention Ubuntu support. Um, it just mentions Windows and Mac. You'll see this very common. The vendors are generally a bit reluctant because there's so many Linux distros. I think they're reluctant to say this works on Linux because it might work on common distros, but then there'll be one distro it won't work on. And then you've got a bunch of angry customers who are like, it says it works on Linux. So my experience is vendors are reluctant to put that Linux stamp on. Nevertheless, what you can do is type into the review section Ubuntu and you'll find people commenting just at purchasers. So you can see here, um, is this plug and play with Ubuntu? And this guy says, I'm using it with Ubuntu every day. I wouldn't expect this not to work. You can also try the Linux keyword for other distros. This guy's using it with Linux Mint or you can type in, for, for example, Arch. And you might have more uh, more trouble there, as you can see. So that's kind of the main ways, in my experience, I've been using the internet to research whether hardware works works with Ubuntu. Sometimes drivers are a bit buggy, but for the most part these days, I'm finding increasingly stuff is plug and play and works nicely out of the box. Hope this video was useful, and thank you guys for watching.